A fisherman, perhaps, thou said, washed from his boat. He ran quickly down the steps and behind him, Hana came, her white sleeves flying. Thinking that uh, it must be a fisherman, they both ran to the spot. A mile or two away, on either side, there were fishing villages. But here was only the bare and lonely coast, dangerous with rocks. There were few fishing villages on either side, a mile or two away. But this side, where Sadao had his house, was a bare and lonely coast, dangerous with rocks. It was rocky. The surf beyond the beach was spiked with rocks. So, the beach was uh, spiked with rocks. That means it had sharp pointed rocks. So, under, underneath the waves, the surf means waves, the uh, breaker, there were rocks. Somehow, the man had managed to come through them. They were uh, quite pointed rocks. So, somehow, they realized that he managed to come through them. He must be badly torn. And they were thinking that he must be badly torn. Badly torn means badly injured. They saw when they came toward him that indeed it was so. He was indeed badly torn. He was indeed badly injured. When they came there, when they came near him, they realized that he was badly injured. The sand on one side of him had already a stain of red soaking through. This indicated that he had got wounded. He, uh, the blood was oozing out from the wound. He was badly injured because the sand on one side had become red with blood. He's wounded, Sadao exclaimed. He made haste to the man. He quickly moved towards the man who lay motionless, his face in the sand. He was lying there motionless, unaware. He was, he had lost his uh, consciousness and he was lying there face down on the sand. An old cap stuck to his head soaked with sea water. He was in wet rags, wet rags of garments. Wet rags of garments means his, his clothes had got completely, <clears throat> completely torn. Sadao stopped, Hana at his side, and turned the man's head. They saw the face. A white man, Hana whispered. Yes, it was a white man. The wet cap fell away. And there was his wet yellow hair, long as though for many weeks it had not been cut. And upon his young and tortured face was a rough yellow beard. By seeing his yellow hair, yellow beard, his uh, color of the face, they could make out that he was a white man. He was an American. He didn't belong to their race. And his face showed the pain he was going through. Tortured face. And he was a young man. And had not got any haircut for long, for many weeks. So it indicated something. He was unconscious and knew nothing that they did for him. He was just lying unconscious. He didn't know what was happening to him. Now Sadao remembered the wound and with his expert fingers he began to search for it. Expert fingers, that means he, he, he was a doctor, he was a surgeon. So he, he was an expert. So his fingers just, you know, ran through his body to look for the wound. Blood flowed freshly at his touch. When he touched the wound, the blood flowed freshly. On the right side of his lower back, Sadao saw that a gun wound had been reopened. The flesh was blackened with powder. 
Sometime, not many days ago, the man had been shot and had not been tended. So he could make out that he was shot few days ago and had not been given any care. That means the bullet was still inside his body. It was bad chance that the rock had struck the wound. And by bad luck, the rock struck his wound and reopened it. So he was that badly injured.